Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be looking at the top 5 money making methods in Albion Online. As many of you know, there are tons of viable ways to earn plenty of money playing Albion Online. Today we're going to be making a top 5 list featuring the best money making methods in Albion Online and we won't feature anything that depends on the opposing player and their gear. Uh, like some PvP, ganking and ZVZ will not make the list. However, we are going to have a full list of the most viable and readily available methods for almost anybody to get started on making enough silver for that premium or that sweet mount you've always wanted. We're going to start off with number 5, looting hidden treasure. Hidden treasure you can find in almost any zone around the map in Carleon. We are going to be starting off and we're going to use the realm gate to go to the black zone. And we're actually going to go to one of these safer zones and just kind of patrol around. Uh, the, the loot you're going to be looking for is going to be glowing uh, as we run around here uh, in the black zone. You can actually go to any zone. Red zones have the loot as well. Um, but you're actually able to get anywhere from 1,000 items uh, for 1,000 silver to um you know you can get t8 gear from this you really can uh i have seen it done many times by a couple friends uh they have been able to get t8 gear from you know taking these looting or these chests out here these hidden treasures and it's very very by a viable way of making a lot of silver um even as a free-to-play player um if you need to get that premium membership this is a viable way obviously you're not going to be leveling anything like um you know if you were gathering or you know killing players or mobs but it's definitely a viable way as here we see and spot the yellow hidden treasure uh, this piece right here um, worth a good a good chunk and we get you know we get some decent silver here uh, you can get a lot better than this this is not you know going to be the best silver but uh, that is why it's number five as you also get that 3k silver that drops on the ground um, and now coming at you at number four uh, like you see above is random dungeons uh, random dungeons have been on the map here for a little while now ever since they came out They've been great fame. They've been great silver um, One thing you're gonna notice is you can't really do random dungeons alone and you're actually gonna be able to see on the map here I'm doing one in Elmwood, which makes it a tier 5 random dungeon uh, When I'm talking of the highest money-making methods Obviously, I'm gonna be talking about the highest money-making methods you can do so t8 uh, dungeons will be obviously stronger than a T5 dungeon for collecting silver. So do the highest dungeon you can do as this is the fourth highest in the money making guide. Uh, as you can see here you can't really do it solo as obviously I'm not going a great build for solo but you really can't do it um, to the best of your ability unless you're going a healer and then it's still not even viable most of the time. So. Uh, you're going to want to jump in with a bunch of other players as you see here. Uh, we're doing this dungeon with a group of about five, six. Um, usually you want five or six players uh, when you're doing this. But if you are able to do a solo dungeon somehow, it is definitely worth the silver. You're going to be getting a lot more silver as you won't be able to have to or you won't have to split it with anybody. Uh, the less players, the less you split silver wise, obviously, in your party and the less loot you have to split as well when you open the chest. So right here you're going to see that we do kill this boss and once you kill this boss you get some decent silver when we collect the chest real quick. Um, we get some bags of silver and then usually you get better items than that. This was a green chest and I think this was early on in my Albion Online career so I think this was probably a lower tier. Uh, but now we're going to be jumping over to Gathering, number three. A lot of you guys might uh, underestimate gathering you think maybe you know random dungeons has better loot it has you know more silver gain to be had and i would have to 100 percent disagree uh with what i've seen from gathering it's very very strong uh if you can do t8 gathering at any point in time uh, whether it's skinning or wood cutting or you know whatever you're going for whatever stat or gathering ability or skill you're going for it actually gives you insane gold um or silver that you can transfer into gold if you'd like but it gives you insane silver uh this you know tier 5 leather i believe is selling for i'd say it's about 800 silver and you might have to check me on that but it's selling for about 800 silver a piece and you really start making your money at tier 6 uh tier 6 is where you start making most of your money because those zones are 4 through 6 and you really start uh getting better and more efficient at tier 6 because you're able to do everything in the zone and you know tier six is where you're going to be able to find a lot of those 6.1 6.2 6.3s in that zone so 
Gathering is definitely number three on the list today as the silver can be amazing from tier through six and through eight. I know five is actually not bad either, but you really do start to make that jump at tier six through eight. So gathering is definitely number three. Now on number two on the list, like the uh, top three fame farming methods, solo Hellgates makes a return and Hellgates makes a return. Altogether, Hellgates is one of the best silver making uh, methods in the game. Uh, if you're going to do a solo like I am here uh, in this video, I am doing a solo and I actually run into another solo, uh, luckily enough, and I am able to jump on him and get myself a little 1v1 action. And you know why this did make the list is because the silver really isn't dependent on the opposing player's gear near as much as it is on the chest in the middle, kind of like random dungeons. As you can see here, I did get the 1v1 kill, and we will go and continue on killing the boss over here now, and you're going to be able to see the silver that drops from these things. It's absolutely unbelievable. Um, as we pick it up, we get a tome as well, which is always good, but we get 4,000 silver just from that kill right there alone. Uh, we're going to take out some minions or mobs here and just kind of show you guys the silver you also get just from mobs. Uh, it's kind of crazy to think about uh, if you're doing it solo. It's actually worth killing the mobs, honestly, and running around the map. Uh, right there, you can see the silver drop is just crazy. And obviously, like I said before, it made the top three list on top best fame farming methods. So I would definitely, uh, you know, spend some time learning Hellgates and find out what works for you. Obviously, there's always going to be a little bit of change needed because everybody's going to eventually run the same build. If there was one overpowered build that was better than every other build, uh, everyone would be running it already and just getting free kills and winning everything. So obviously you're going to have to make some changes, but um, you know, Hellgates is the way to go. Uh, if you're looking for fast and fun and more effective way of silver farming, um, it's just the best money making method uh, to me because of how fun it is. But uh, number one on the list is going to be coming up here and it should be about no surprise to any of you guys. Uh, number one on the list is going to have to be abusing the market. Now, abusing the market could mean many different things. I know, I know, you guys are probably thinking, you know, what what really are you thinking about when you're saying abusing the market? What are you really talking about? And I could be talking about many, many, many different things. Uh, abusing the market could be the black market. It could be running items from city to city. It could be buying and selling uh, to actual players. You can abuse the market in about any way uh, you want and any way you think about. Um, you can make silver if you just think about what you're doing and how you know impacts the other players around the world and their economy. Um, so when I say abusing the market, you could gamble. I know you guys like the artifact gambling video a little bit. Um, you can you can always gamble for artifacts, and that's one way to abuse the market. If you see one tier that is you know kind of decreasing, or you see you know in Martlock they're selling T8 bows for uh, 200k and. Carleon, they're selling them for 260k. You could buy a lot from Martlock and sell it at Carleon. Uh, but like in the video you're seeing below, or not below, but like the video you're kind of seeing, you can make a lot of money off of this uh, method. And I really do think uh, it's one of the best methods out there. It's obviously not as fun to me as um, what uh, what Hellgates would be, maybe, or you know, any anything of that matter. Uh, cause honestly, abusing the market is one of the most boring things for me. The only thing great about it is the amount of silver you gain afterwards and, you know, just being happy about that. But, um, this is my top five best money making methods in Albion online. And I hope you guys like this video today and I'll guys, I'll have to see you guys next time.